And what about you? Uh, so there's a follow-up in it from my, uh, the one I did there on the coil and plug testing. I was just reading the comments there. And there's a few guys there that comment quite regularly on my vids. And it's very much appreciated. But this one here stood out for me. Very interesting test, mate. I've never used a Pegascope. Do you have to pay for a subscription for the software? Cheers. And that's from Cars Exposed. And that's a guy called Igor who has his own channel and does a lot of repairs and uh, gets a good lot of views. The guy below there, Mechanic Matt, has his own channel. And the guy below that is uh, The Gibby. 3340 and he has a load of pickups and uh, yeah also has his own channel so check those guys out and we'll show you this pico So this is uh, Pico Technologies uh, eBay's door here and we're going to flick it down there, there uh, that's their automotive stuff there's a wee parking sensor for 24 quid there's an amp clamp there's a coil and plug tester you can see the prices there for yourself and there's a, a full kit there of uh, the automotive 4 channel which is the full, uh, the full thing, all the leads and all the clamps, and it's nearly three grand. And you can pay all sorts of money, and their stuff is unbelievable. And that is Pico themselves in Cambridge, in England. Uh, so the one I was using in my previous video there was a wee Pico 2204, which is the entry level scope 10. Uh, megahertz scope to channel and it only takes 20 volts input so you might think well, that's no good for automotive use but there's a lot of guys on YouTube have reviewed it and showed how to use it including myself if you check out some other of my vids I'll put a few links in the description for some of the vids now another thing I'm going to tell you there, I am not affiliated with any of these sellers that I'm going to show you here. I just done a couple, a load of Google searches there uh, to make this video to answer a few questions. Where to get stuff, what kind of money it is, and how to get started in scoping. I have uh, a hand or I have a Mixig scope, which is a, a battery touchscreen, and I have the the uh, the one that you use with a laptop, which is the Pico. And there it is, £94.80, and that's from Pico Technology on Amazon. And that is the main, the main themselves in Cambridge. You'll get that the next day. So, yeah, you just get the unit itself for that one there. And if we scoot down there, if we see, you can get it there with a couple of probes for a ten or more. So you can see that. So yeah, those probes, I don't really use them. That's uh, the truth about that. But I'll show you them anyway. I'll show you all the leads and probes uh, later on in the video. But this is a wee quick run through and uh, where to get the stuff. What kind of money it is and how to get started in scoping if you're going to do if you're going to work at cars you need to get into scoping that is the way that things are done nowadays uh, so you need a scan tool and you need a scope they're two completely different animals and they do two, two, two completely things different things so what we regard as a scan tool is what is known as a front door tool uh, paul danner that's the way he describes it this the fault code reader and the thing that shows you live data, and that's a front door tool. And this, uh, the scope then looks at the circuit and you can see what you're doing. So that's why you need a scope. Now, the wee Pego scope, uh, the 2204A there, uh, is entry level for Pego. And professional guys use the automotive scope and it's uh, quite a bit dear. This is only two channel, 
but if you're going to only look at uh, one sensor or one thing at a time it's all you need I can tell you so we'll flick on through these websites here and see what we've got um, okay that is an HT 30A I'm looking at here now So that is the uh, leads that I was using in that previous video. It's a BNC to banana and that's it there. It's T30A, that's what it comes in. And you can see a tenor on Amazon Prime. Amazon, I've found, is the best place to get these leads. These are all made by Hantac, which is a Chinese company, but these leads are dead on. They are, they are do the job. They're well built very very good BNC and you have your banana on the end male and female so what I was doing in the video I have four mil jacks all the four mil anything with four mil jack on it goes into that end there uh, that end there don't believe it or not don't use it so much the other leads that I was using to connect on again from Amazon but these aren't hand tech are these here take a leads so you get that four mil banana and banana jack and it fits nicely into there. So that's what I was using. These leads are a tenner. I, have a, I bought a couple of them. But to get going with a scope, that's all you need. It's T30A. So that's where you get that. All on Amazon, guys. Uh, they're not they're not Pico, they're made by Hantac, which also makes scopes, and a lot of people have them. But uh, the reason why Pico is favored by a lot of guys, and there's only the Hantac scopes are there as well. The reason why the Picos are, are favored by a lot of guys is the software. The software is the key. The software is totally user-friendly, and is free and there is no subscription and you can download it whether you have a picoscope or not you don't have to register and you don't have to do anything and i'm going to show you where to where to get that this here would have on also on amazon here eight pounds 99p is this wee boy here hamtech uh attenuator ht201 so that's ht201 there eight pound 99 on on there uh, on amazon uh, is the cheapest and what that does guys is uh, quite simply uh, makes your scope into uh, able to take more voltage so as you can see there uh, plus or minus 20 volts peak maximum okay so if you put your attenuator on there 400 volts that'll take without damaging it so multiplies it by a factor of 20 so it's just a multiplier that's all that is and it's 899 turns into a 400 volt scope that's all you will ever need if you're looking at injectors or anything like that you'll need to use an attenuator the wee demonstration that it did on the uh, coil unplug testing because that was inductive that wasn't a direct connection I was not using an attenuator, don't need to use an attenuator on, on that one. Again, there's loads of vids on uh, YouTube with guys going into detail of how an attenuator works and uh, stuff like that. Okay, regarding the IS, there is HT25, 1299. That's an inductive probe, that's for your secondary ignition. So again, more inductive. And that goes around your your coil lead that's that um okay auto probe st25 so it has that we we clip on the end of it that goes around your uh goes around your your ht lead if you have a coil on plug and you don't have ht leads then um we can do a like a conversion if you want and again I've demonstrated this in other videos and uh, yeah we'll just bring you in on that one 
that one there that is ht308 cop coil and plug extension cord with an earth cord with an earth lead as well so that is that ht308 and that goes under your spark plug uh, and then goes into your goes into your coil and plug not too bad quite durable it's not the best but uh that is 12.99 so a tenner just over a tenner for some of this stuff eight quid for the attenuator 12 quid for that uh those leads there again are from amazon these are silicone silicone leads you get uh five of them i covered that in another video again with uh test leads amazon 10 12 pounds something like that with the crocodile clips so there's our leads so you've you get your pico for just over just under 100 or with your probes oh yeah we'll show you those probes these are the probes you get with the pico so they're they're the probes you get with the pico uh don't really use them very much for the automotive uh use it's really designed for circuit uh testing uh so what you get in the end of that is i'll just zoom that out a wee bit what you get on the end of that is this wee boy here that wee hook jobby and that's for going on the components and that's your that's your earth lead you can also pull that off and that's a, a more sort of traditional pro but you can't really uh, join that into a jack or anything like that but the thing about these leads is it either will do uh the last comment the camera or not times one or times ten so again if it's below 20 volts just use the times one but the 10 will multiply it and that'll allow 200 volts peak on the uh, scope so an attenuator and these 10 times probes will uh will be grand for most of your testing so that's the that's those leads that's they come with the pico if you elect to buy the scope with leads you can buy it without leads or you can buy it with leads and you get those two those two oh yes another thing another feature on this scope uh if you read descriptions there it'll say six six units in one is this this is an arbitrary wave generator so you can set up in the software for a, an output a signal output so you can have uh square waves or whatever now can you i've seen boys using that on uh to prove abs wires are intact uh, by simulating uh, a pulsed signal by uh, using the Pico as an output as opposed to an input. The other thing you get with the Pico is you get this blue lead, you get this blue USB lead with it and it's only about a meter long. Uh, okay, but there's, there's uh, something to be said for this lead. You need to use this lead with the scope because it is a high speed lead so i don't know where it's, i take it it's us at least usb too but you need to use that with the scope if you want to keep the scope away from the laptop for whatever reason so that's why we use these uh that's why we use those um st 25 as because they are three meters long so it means you keep the scope beside the laptop uh if you would need to use if you want to have the scope away from the laptop uh you need to use an amplified usb extension cord and uh you, it, it will work with that if you just use an ordinary us a big long usb lead or an ordinary usb lead it uh you can have trouble with it so i've seen that i've seen people having trouble and that was their problem they weren't using the, the usb lead that comes with uh the pico so on to the uh pico software where you get it how you what you do with it and all that sort of I'll carry on um okay so we'll just keep it zoomed out for the minute like that i think you can see that okay so pico's uh website is picotech.com uh www.picotech.com there um okay so i don't know if you can see that or not picotech.com uh go into downloads and this is pico 2000 series 2204a and there's your software 
and uh, 6.13.17 and that just came out there May 2nd 2019 so there's a, an updated version for the one I'm using so you download that it's absolutely free absolutely free and even if you don't have the scope you can uh, download that and run it in demo mode so uh, I'll just uh, demonstrate that in a wee second now the other one that I have downloaded and what everybody else does as well is you go on to picoauto.com so that's all one word pico auto so we'll just have a wee look at there picoauto.com downloads there you see on the top left of the screen so that's downloading your automotive diagnostic software for free so version 6.13.17 and that came out in april 2019 so that is absolutely free to download and you can look at that uh, for yourself. So I have, uh, we'll just go into the, I have the, the automotive one up and running. There's no scope whatsoever plugged in at the minute. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. That's not bad. Right, so when you plug it in there, it'll come up, it'll flash up. Uh, cannot find it a suitable device. Would you like to run demo mode? And you hit yes, and it flicks up uh, that screen there. So it's running in demo mode. There's nothing at all plugged into this laptop. So what you can do here is you have this wee tab here, automotive. In the ordinary Pico 6 software, you do not have the automotive tab, but we can still use it. So there is ignition, there is call and unplug, there is how to connect it up, what to do with it, parameters, and what it does is, there's, well, we'll go into, there's primary voltage, uh, two hour call and plug. So click on that, and what that does then is it opens up an information page hopefully in a wee second so there we go it's loading some normally does it a wee bit quicker than this there we go so that's loaded up now and so there's a whole load of parameters you can look in that automotive and just download that for free and have a wee look there's a sample waveform of what you're expecting And it also loads uh, a library, which is just in now. So there's a description of uh, of the test. Uh, tells you how to set it up and all that there. Now you don't have to follow this to the letter, but it gives you an idea. It gives you a good idea. It says there to use the 20 to 1 attenuator. Uh, there's a sample waveform and there's a bit of information there's burn time, dwell period, induced voltage, all that sort of stuff that we talked about. Uh, I mentioned that in the last video. Dwell period and magnetic induction. So there's free learning information there. And it's in that software. And that just loads it up if you click on that. So I'm going to come out of that. Uh, all right. So, so that's in the downloads. Okay. So what I'm going to do uh, now is... I'm going to load up the, I'm going to close that. I'm going to load up the ordinary Pegaso 6 software, but the non automotive version. And uh, show you that. So there, there's the, the one I have there, Pegaso 6, and then there's the Pegascope automotive. And there's another one there, Diagnostics as well. You can have a look at that if you want to. So what I'm going to do is quickly here is plug the Pico into the USB lead. Okay, so that's the non-automotive version and it's a, a version that there's a, a newer version out there, but that's the one that I was using on the screen in the last video there. So there's, there's just no tab there that says automotive. However, if I go into file uh, and open, there I have saved 
some of those parameters, some of those uh, parameters from the automotive into uh, the, the laptop here. So I demonstrated that, I think, in, a, in, a, in the pressure challenge user video before, but it's just a wee, a wee reminder here of what you can do. But there's guys go into that in, in, uh, in detail on their other channels. And I'll show you some of the other channels and where you can get uh, information if you're starting out for this. Um, there's some very, very good videos and people have taken the time to show us uh, all about the wee Pico 2000 and how to transfer. All that information there came from the automotive. So I can use a 600 amp clamp and there's, there's various uh, parameters that are built in. So if I click on or secondary ignition I have uh, in, the, in, the, in the documents there and that'll load what was in the automotive software and uh, it'll bring it up and it'll bring that wee, uh, that wee data file up and uh, so it gives me all these presets there's 20 kV that's the waveform you're expecting to see and it's it's uh, it's ready to go. So that's the non-automotive software with the automotive parameters built in. But we'll see once you get to learn the scope and how, how to use the scope and what all this stuff means, millisecond for division, time basis, sample rates, and how to zoom in and all that sort of jazz. You should be able to, you, should, you, should, you should really need that. It's a, it's a guide to get you going. It's a, it's a help guide. And that's why you don't really need the automotive one. Okay, and that's, there's a lot of guys who maybe dispute that and say, oh no, you need the automotive one and all that there. But, uh, why Pico is so popular is because of the software, which is free. The best bit about the Pico is the, the free bit. So, uh, you know, we can do all sorts of things. This is a very handy tool here that you can zoom away in. On your on your capture with one stroke there and scoot it along and you, you have measuring cursors you bring it down we'll give you measurements and uh, you have them both vertically and horizontally so you can measure the distance between there and there or the time between there and there uh, so you can, I'll just go on to that wee curse there. So there's there's a measure, a measure, measuring tool there. So you can measure all sorts of parameters and you can set those cursors for, uh, you know, if you have, if you're looking at f f all four firing events and you can put them in all four firing events at, the, at their different degrees. So it's so user friendly, but you, it's like everything, you just need to get used to it. So, okay, I'll move on to some of these uh, YouTube channels. So here's a couple of YouTube channels and this guy here is a guy called Ian and uh, he comments on most of my videos and he's an avid uh, watcher of my videos and likewise uh, me with him he does takes a lot of time doing his videos and what I think about YouTube is there's a lot of uh, channels out there who have loads and loads of subscribers thousands of views and they're sort of aimed at a very sort of general audience or maybe too technical or uh, you know all their a lot of it's clickbait and, and stuff like that so uh, there's some of it is is nonsense and so, some of it's good and you have to sort of weed out the, the good from the bad this guy here he just does this, he's a bit like myself just does this from the house it's just that these are the real people these are the real people on on youtube this is a real person doesn't make any money we don't make any money out of doing these videos and they just do them uh, out of fun and in the name of trying to share information and he did a very very good video a while back uh he's been doing this for, for a few lot of months so these two videos here uh it's top four diagnostic tools and there's the pico 224a uh it doesn't get very many views but these are fantastic wee videos here okay and he has a lot of other stuff he covers other wee things that is interested in uh, as well and he, he takes a lot of time puts a lot of graphics on them as well doesn't get an awful lot of views but 
that doesn't mean to say it's bad stuff. That's a brilliant wee video we did there. I took the time to draw out a, uh, a whole circuit diagram and explains it very, very well, I must say, and that's his channel. Uh, these guys here are the, the true heroes. Uh, there's, a, there's another one, and it was another guy that commented on, the, on my initial video. There he is there, uh, Mechanic Matt. Uh, he's another Scottish guy, and uh, he has excellent uh, videos, but this is all true life stuff. And he's doing it just to, just to share information for people. He's doing it just uh, out of the goodness of his heart. And he's got misfires there, secondary ignition waveforms. He goes into waveforms, uh, that stuff that uh, he's been trial and testing. And he, he doesn't pretend to be an expert like myself, but uh, he's showing you his findings. And he's, he's had an awful lot of videos there of... Uh, good stuff, that is real stuff there. And he, he uses a hand tech scope and uh, he's, been, he's been showing way of forms and different things. And that's him, uh, that's him uh, taking the time to, to video some of his experiences, which is, uh, which is awesome. There's another guy here, uh, now he's been going for a while and he's got a lot of videos on. He's got a, a couple of thousand subscribers there and uh, this guy here, if you get a Pico uh, 2000 series, you need to scoot down this guy's channel list. Really, really do. Uh, because he goes, takes the time and goes into all the parameters, how to set it up and how to uh, move that automotive information into the ordinary, uh, into the ordinary uh, Pico software. And that's where I got that from. I am not uh, a genius by any means. And it's, this is all about sharing information. I share my experiences and, he, and they, those guys there share theirs. So uh, a good while ago, uh, maybe a year ago or something, he, uh, he does a lot of reviews as well. Uh, so there's so many videos on here. He's a couple hundred videos, I'm sure. So there's, there's Picoscope tutorial there. Um, transfer automotive picoscope sentence to non-automotive three minute video watch that and that's 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 it which automotive uh, oscilloscope which automotive is part one and two attenuators hand tech attenuators goes into that so there's four videos there which are gold absolute gold on getting started using your, your using scope and when you start using a scope Really, you, 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 you discover that really you've been missing out. You've been wasting your time uh, up, up to now. Uh, that you've, you've been guessing. You realize that you've been guessing. So um, I'll just quickly go into uh, a couple of other things here. Um, if you want to do relative compression testing and stuff, you need to get some current clamps. Now I did a vid on current clamps. Again, when I post this here uh, video here, I'll put links in the description. I will not be putting links on where to buy stuff because I am not selling any of this. Okay, I'm just showing you. It's entirely up to you who you buy it off and uh, how much you pay for it. I, I do not post links for where to sell anything. So I am not affiliated with any of this stuff. This is a CA600 uh, AC DC current clamp. Okay. So that is a 600 amp current clamp. Stick it around a battery cable, relative compression testing, and plug it in, plug it straight into your Pico scope. Transfer the information from the automotive onto the ordinary one, and it'll set it up for you. Okay, uh, that is that very one I bought on eBay. Uh, postage is a bit grim there because it comes from Europe, but it's 50 quid. Uh, that's CA 600 and that is absolutely a dent to this one So you can read that out for yourself there and that's from uh, RS uh, Radio Spurs, which is a very uh, well-known electronics provider uh, in the UK RS components, so they're selling that current clamp, which is exact same thing for a wee bit there and you can buy it with a that's a, a 2205A, uh, that's the one up from the 04. 
The only difference is that's 25 megahertz, whereas the uh, 2204 is 10. So if you want to get something a wee bit quicker, a wee bit faster, by all means, spend a wee bit more money. It's uh, a wee bit dear. You can look it up on Amazon as well. So that's a high amp clamp. That's for doing relative compression testing. That's really all you're going to do with that, uh, I would imagine. You, you can clamp anything with it, but it's, uh, that, that it's just the range that it'll go up to. The next one I'm going to show you regarding current clamps. As I say, I did a video on clamps. But these are where to get them. This is the other one we use that I would use, and that's the low range, uh, 20 or 80 amp, and that's a, a CD's version for that. Again, Pico sell that, and other people sell it. It's entirely up the shelf what you want to buy. That is that, and these come with four mil jacks, uh, both that CA 600. So just type in the eBay uh, CA Charlie Alpha 600 current clamp and that will come up for you. So they all have um, four millimeter jacks which go into your hand tack, your hand tack, your hand tack lead into the, into the back of that hand tack lead. All those shielded uh, jacks will go into that and uh, away you go. And that's all you need. Okay, guys, I think that's it for this one. Uh, many thanks for watching. As ever, I hope that that uh, will help somebody else. I hope that's answered your question, uh, Igor, uh, regarding the pay scope. So I'm just going to, right, just to uh, have a Pico disconnected at the minute. USB isn't in. And when you'll ever, whenever you load it up, this is the non-automotive software and this is free to download and this is what you can do you can do this now uh, without buying one or anything like that so it loads it loads it up now what it's doing there is it's looking for the scope it's looking for the scope to be connected so it says there no suitable device sound found uh, you can either plug a device in now or use a demo device and when it says demo device, it's not actually talking about an external device. So would you like to use it as a demo device? And I'm going to hit yes, because there's nothing plugged into it at all. And it will load up the software. And you can go through it. You do that with the automotive one as well. And you can go through it and you can play with it. And uh, you can adjust settings. And it'll give a, a sample waveform there. And you can... You can go in and alter it. It's not just a view only. You can uh, change all that stuff and see what all your different uh, your different parameters give you and do. So that is totally free and is designed. Pico is very good because they're wanting to get to get people into this. They're wanting to, to let people to learn, and that's why their software is free. So. Many thanks for watching. Hope it helps. That's one for you, Igor. And uh, get into scoping. Uh, there's, without the current comps there, you can start scoping stuff with an attenuator. Start scoping injectors, for example, with an attenuator. The HT30A leads. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You could do it for 130 quid, 140 quid. You could go into the uh, secondary ignition and get those extra leads and uh, away you go. So hope that inspires somebody and that's what it's all about. And thanks very much and all the best. Bye bye.